Hi, thanks for tuning in. We are back on In Realty. If you are looking for that modern city living, then the horizon in Jalan Tun Razak can be the one for you. With me today is Mr. Wong Kim Chon. He is yes. the uh, Senior General Manager for Hub Sing Land uh, mm. on Property Division. Yeah. Yes, that's Thank right. you so much, Mr. Wong, for making the time with us. Yes. Okay, um, like I said, um, the horizon, it's modern city living. Uh, it's the address to die for. Um, we've been doing this show for so long and we've always been wondering if there are such uh, prime land that is still for sale and here it is, it is the yeah. horizon. So mm. talk to us about uh, the horizon. How was it conceptualized? Yes, actually uh, when you look at the site actually the horizon residence is sited on a very unique location. Mm. Yeah, it is not within the city uh, CBD area. Yet it is just at the fringe, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, we are just minutes away from all the great uh, prime uh, retail and commercial areas. Mm -hmm. I think more importantly, the site is actually located next to the Royal Selangor Golf Club. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think this iconic golf club has been around for more than uh, yeah. 100 years. And that is why it is so unique, mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, when we actually uh, wanted to conceptualize the, the idea, mm -hmm. uh, we actually decided to hire a photographer on the balloon. Okay. So we actually take an aerial photographer of the site. Mm -hmm. uh, he went up to level 5, 10, 15, 20 and 26. Mm -hmm. And the photographs coming back were amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we actually can see that you actually have the best of both worlds. Incredible shots of the KL uh, city line, mm -hmm. skyline, and actually the large green, the coming greens of the Royal Selangor Golf Club. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And I think that unique location forms uh, the inspiration of us wanting to develop the Horizon Residences mm -hmm. really into an oasis. Because if you look around the city, it's really a very much concrete, flat mm -hmm. jungle. That was actually the inspiration that started the whole concept of the Horizon Residences. Mm -hmm. yes. And it matched with the architectural concept that is so sleek and, and, and slender, I can say. So yes. talk to us about the architectural concept of the Horizon. When we actually designed the uh, the architectural concept, we worked with our architect, Architect mm -hmm. 61. Mm -hmm. Architect 61 is a, multi, uh, a renowned architect, uh, international architect. Mm -hmm. uh, they have won uh, quite uh, many awards, actually. Mm -hmm. So we wanted uh, the uh, project to complement the surrounding. Mm -hmm. So because of the green you know, environment of the, the golf club, what we have done is on the ground floor, we say that we want to have large landscape. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, at, at the design, we, we actually have even water features because in the golf course, you actually yeah. have water features <laughs> as well, right? Yeah. And this, uh, with the large landscape, we also design on the vertical garden because that will seem to bring the lushness of the green mm -hmm. onto the building. So it doesn't like stand out, you okay. know, uh, which is uh, a complementary effect mm -hmm. of the building. At the same time, we also design in such a way that we allow the inhabitants of the uh, project mm -hmm. to be able to look up to enjoy you know, the, the environment that is actually present to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, when you say about inhabitants, uh, when you say about your customers and your clients, obviously yeah. it would be people who yearns for the modern city living, hence um, you are there. Mm. So talk to us about uh, the target market uh, or the catchment that you're eyeing for. I actually have two types of customers. Okay. Those who like the excitement of the city and those probably want to be a little bit, uh, you know, enjoy the peace yeah. of, of nature. So uh, when we actually look at the site that we actually have, so we were wondering what sort of people mm. would want to actually stay at the Horizon Residences. So we recognise that we actually have a fantastic view of the uh, KL City mm. and that represents the vibrancy of city life. At the same time, we also have the calming greens of the golf club. Mm. So we reckon that there's another group of people who may like to lead a more quiet mm. you know, and peaceful life. And that's why we conceptualize it into two blocks. It says that the first block, which is actually nearer mm. to the city, is actually designed to cater for the more youngish and vibrant okay. group. So this particular block actually have uh, the smaller units, which is actually the studio unit mm. and the two bedroom units. This will be catered mainly to the youngish professionals mm. and the other block which is actually consists of larger units from okay. the two bedrooms to the larger penthouse unit so this would probably be the more mature investors mm. probably those with families who would at the, at the same time want to actually stay mm. you know in a family uh, uh, unit okay. at the same time the other target market that we actually look at are actually 
foreign investors as well. So there are a lot of foreign investors who may want to make this place a second home. Mm -hmm. For example, people are running away from the heat of the Middle East mm -hmm. and running away from the coal of yeah. China and Japan. So there are times that they say that Malaysia is actually a good second home to be. Mm -hmm. So these are also our target market. The other group of uh, uh, purchasers that we have are actually members of the Royal Selangor Golf Club itself. Oh, okay. Okay. Some of these, <laughs> when I speak to them, they say that, wow, I mean, when it's completed, they can virtually just walk over to the golf course. <laughs> At the same time, we also have uh, even locals here from East Malaysia mm -hmm. who actually are preparing some of these units for the children. For example, some of them may want the children to come here and study mm -hmm. and come to work. So these are actually investing for the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm. talk to us how this development could somehow change the facade of the busy uh, stretch of uh, the location. The facade is all uh, with extensive use of glass. So the people at Block A will have mm. a fantastic view of the city on the left and you look straight, you actually have the golf course. Okay, so you actually have uh, both stunning, stunning views, views, yeah? yeah. And for the Block B, you actually have a golf, you know, have a fantastic view of the city as well as the golf course. So you actually have uh, the best of both worlds yeah, at the same yeah. time. And we also do, uh, do the design in such a way that there's a lot of light coming in because mm. of the extensive use of glass. And the ventilation is, uh, we want to ensure mm. that all the uh, common areas are well ventilated. Mm. Yeah. So it is also a green building? It's yeah? also a green building. So okay. we are achieving for uh, GBI uh, certification. At the same time, we are also in, uh, uh, providing at least 10 feet height mm. from floor to ceiling. Okay. Yes. So that will give you the, 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 the feeling of spaciousness. Mm. And uh, we also want to maximize the view in such a way that even the passenger lifts actually have glass exterior. Okay. So as you are traveling up the lift, huh, you will be able to look out and actually uh, have a fantastic view of the golf mm -hmm. course. So you, you are taking uh, the meaning and the luxury of the view, view. to a different level, different yeah? Level. Yes, okay. that's right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Wong, for your time. I pray that's all the time mm -hmm. uh, we have for this segment. So if you are looking for stunning view in the city, uh, believe it or not, it's here. It's called the Horizon Residences. So with that, I see you again on the next segment. Hi, thanks for tuning in. We're back on In Realty. I'm all excited because I'm going to take you shopping, uh, not your typical uh, shopping. Uh, we're going to go for the audio visual from Bang & Olufsen right here in Gardens Mid Valley. So with me today is Mr. Jonas Wolf Mula. He's a director for uh, Bang & Olufsen in Southeast uh, Asia. Um, to talk all about this wonderful design and, and it's historical. This brand is historical. It's been in the market since 1925, right? Yes. Yes, and it's been here for such a long time. And how do you see the brand has evolved since then? Okay, let, let's take about 10 years ago, maybe? Yes, I mean, we've been here for, for 10 years in Malaysia. We started out in uh, one location and mm -hmm. moved location. Uh, it's always been very popular in uh, Malaysia and I think sort of the Danish design and mm -hmm. the Malaysian mentality has clicked very well. We have a lot of very good and loyal customers. Mm -hmm. We are very excited to be here and actually last year was our record year. And you choose to be here in Gardens, so you've moved a lot and you figure out that okay, this is where we're going to be. So what are the things that draws you to have uh, your store here? Well, we, we've been uh, in a few other locations okay. and then we've been in Star Hill, we've been in Bangsa Village also and um, I think our customer group has moved mm -hmm. and when they move, we as a brand have uh, moved as well. So each mall has uh, uh, great advantages and um, but our customer group moves and mm -hmm. that's when we move with them. Okay, and uh, I think before in, in early 2000, it's uh, almost impossible. I mean, we've heard of the brand. Yes. Uh, you know, Malaysians love uh, sleek design. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard to get your hands on it. Yes. Uh, only until um, what 2003 that you first have your store. So yeah. why? What does it take that long for you to come and penetrate into our country? It's, it's a very good question, <laughs> and uh, it was uh, before I took over. Uh -huh. But uh, I mean, at one point, a lot of these European companies was perhaps a bit Eurocentric, uh -huh. uh, so they're very focused on the closed markets. And Asia was something that uh, uh, was 
far away from them, but mm -hmm. I think now everybody realizes that it, the emerging markets are Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we're all very excited to be here now. So even though we're a little slow <laughs> to begin with, then I hope we can uh, make a great comeback. Okay, and um, most of your designs are very iconic, like your phones and, and your, your headphones, uh, and now with uh, BioPlay and, yeah. and your Bio range. Um, how do you feel that this brand has um, you know, maintained its level of superiority in this industry? Well, it's all about, I think, uh, the, the tradition we have and the handcraftship. Mm -hmm. We are the oldest man, uh, audio manufacturers yeah, in, exactly. in the world. We do hand make our things in Denmark. Mm -hmm. um, but we also saw um, a market segment that's moving faster than our traditional uh, customers. Mm -hmm. People using the iPhones uh, as a main music mm -hmm. streamer. Um, instead of a, a traditional system, so we had to build products for mm -hmm. it, and that's what we are doing with the Bill Play. Uh, okay, uh, talk to us about your um, latest star, your very pretty uh, Bill Play A9. Yes, I mean Bill Play A9 is really something that caught everybody's yeah. attention, <laughs> uh, and it's, uh, it's it just was amazingly popular when we launched it in Las Vegas last mm -hmm. year. It takes some of the old Bang & Olsen, the handcraft shift, if you notice there's wooden legs mm -hmm. and the legs are um, uh, made from wood in Denmark, it's handcrafted mm -hmm. and then it takes the newest technology that we have which is wireless uh, music uh, and integrates that really well and then it adds a little bit of the old magic that Bang & Olsen uh, traditionally had it got hands-on control, so when you touch this, uh, it, you can adjust the volume. Okay. So it's not only you have to press on your <laughs> phone or something that's in the air mm -hmm. or very abstract. It's really you can go in and touch it mm -hmm. and then move your hand and then you can uh, adjust the volume of mm -hmm. it. It's particularly pep, uh, popular with the uh, females. Yeah, of and course. Yes, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's very elegant, thing. Yeah, yes. it's very slick. Yeah. Um, not that it's already um, you know, grand in design yeah. and um, there's one more good news to it. Is that you can customize yes. the, the, the speaker, right? I mean, our customers are diverse. They are all independent um, individuals that <laughs> like to have the things their own way. So most of our things are uh, customized. So you can go in, you can pick colors, um, you can pick your, your design more or less, and mm -hmm. then we will build it to your specification. Mm -hmm. And there's no real additional charge. It's part of our, um, our philosophy that, I mean, we all individuals, why shouldn't we have individual products? Mm -hmm. And uh, being here uh, in the gardens, you know, you have your whole, um, I can call it an experiment room, where you yes. can sit down and experience the wonderfulness of uh, B&O. Yes. Uh, why do you feel that it's crucial to have a set up like this in your store? Well, it's today we are not only selling televisions mm -hmm. or speakers, we are telling, selling the whole experience. We like to have a room that resembles your living room, uh, where you can press one button and then the curtains will go down or the aircon will adjust or the lights will even adjust. Mm -hmm. uh, your TV, a specific size for when you're watching the news, but a different size when you're watching a movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of these things are possible to do and we kind of I think that experience is uh, more valuable to you as a client mm -hmm. than to know how many pixels does a television have yeah. or how loud can these speakers play. Yeah. So for us, it's much about a, a solution we are selling to you or an as answer to your problem mm -hmm. um, more than uh, what or how many yeah. amplifiers. I mean, yeah. we can all... It can be an alien language for some. Yes, <laughs> and uh, it certainly can and it can be tiresome to, uh, to go into that. All right, uh, so what can you say about um, your uh, clients or your, the end users who love uh, B&O, how well, can you describe them? Well, they are very diverse actually. Uh, we can't say it's a specific ethnic or specific income group mm -hmm. or specific professional necessarily. What, what mostly uh, attracts them are that it's an individual brand and you can build your own things and mm -hmm. it, it resembles a part of their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Uh, some is really attractive to the um, to the design language, mm -hmm. uh, and some is really attractive to the technology behind it. Uh, it's really it really depends. They're all wonderful individuals. Um, more than it's it's a great mass, I would say. Okay. So, what is this range that you have here that I'm about to experience in a bit? Uh, well, we have uh, uh, speakers and we have televisions and um, telephones and we've got the full range here so you can mm -hmm. experience all yeah. of it. So uh, there you go, running out of time. I uh, would love to share with you on the experience that we have here, but you have to come for yourself and experience this uh, B&O in Garden Smith Valley with us. See you again next week on In Realty.